Hey, hey, stop. What if I suck? <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Hi, everybody. All right, it's impossible to know. Uh, hi, everybody. Jimmy Z here. It's impossible to know everything that needs to be known about what's happening in Nevada with Cliven Bundy and his cows. We know a couple of things for sure. One is that he's a rancher. He's got a bunch of cows. Two is that this has been going on since 1993. 21 years. And most of us, myself included, haven't heard about this, anything about this, until about uh, a couple of weeks ago. Maybe a month ago. And so the, the entirety of what's happening and all of the politicians that have been involved... There's been three presidents since all of this started with Clive and Bundy. Now, I'm not saying condemn the man, but I definitely think it's way too soon to turn him into some kind of hero. And I should also say here that uh, I am definitely not saying that the Federal Bureau of Land Management are the good guys. It does not appear to be that way at all. But it does appear that Mr. Bundy is a stubborn man and that his cows have been grazing on what the federal government says is federal land. And here's a statistic that is really something. The federal government owns 85% of the land in Nevada. 85%. And so there's a very good chance that that part of his land that his cows are grazing on is federal land. If it is, then he's in the wrong. But, but I'm not saying that that is what happened. I'm saying that is what the Federal Bureau of Land Management contends. Now, should the federal government be involved in all of this land management? No. But I'll tell you something that uh, really bothers me, and it is all of these militias that have gone out there to assist Clive and Bundy, and it's a recipe for disaster. Apparently, Mr. Bundy has been fined, and he has not paid those fines because he contends that his cattle are grazing on state land owned by the state of Nevada. And so he's not paying the fines, and at some point the federal government is going to react if you're not paying the fines that you're supposed to be paying for having cattle graze on the land that is supposedly owned by the federal government. Like I said, this is all very complicated. What we don't need are hothead militia people getting ready to shoot the first bullets. And I'm reading some stuff on Facebook. There are people out there who say that they are prepared to die over this because they, they consider themselves to be on par with the founders of the United States of America. This is not the hill to die on. Certainly not yet. Because we don't know all of the details in this story that has been going on for 21 years. So again, I'm not saying that Clive and Bundy is a bad guy. I'm saying that it's, it's really too early to call him a hero, some kind of American patriot, because I heard him on Hannity today, and he was talking about a number of things, and some people were calling in. And every time he got challenged about the cattle and the federal land and the fines, he backed up and started in with the patriotic rhetoric, and this land is your land, and this land is my land. And he knows how to get the, the conservatives all wound up. And so that's what he's doing. And he's got militias out there. And who knows where all these militias have come from. Some of them are crazy people. Some of them are very good patriotic people. But somebody is going to... They're armed. Not all of them, but some of them are armed. And there could be one guy who gets a little upset. There was a police officer or a sheriff's deputy who threw a woman to the ground when she got too close to a truck. And it's an ugly piece of video, but I'm not sure that, that the sheriff's deputy was completely in the wrong. So again, this is all very complicated, and we don't know the whole story yet, 
And I'm, I'm just not comfortable with all these militia people out there trying to turn trying to turn Clive and Bundy into an, another American hero. And you see people talking about the federal government and Ruby Ridge and Waco as if these were two other great American stands against the federal government. David Koresh thought he was Jesus. And the people committed suicide and set their own place on fire. There are still conservatives out there who believe that, that Janet Reno started the fire. It's the most ridiculous crap. These people are crazy people. Randy Weaver at Ruby Ridge, he could have kept all of that crap from happening. All of the mayhem was completely unnecessary. So again, I've got to cut this off. Do I know the whole story? No. But neither do you. And you're going to have trouble if all you're doing is reading uh, websites like Freedom Outpost where everybody's writing all this insane, incendiary rhetoric. It is not good for America, for all of these bloggers, to start talking about this as if this is... This is the stand. This is the time we're going to, we may have to fire bullets because we need to tell the Obama administration that we're not going to take it anymore. This is a man with cattle that were most likely grazing on federal land. And there's been a lawsuit and there's been fines and the fines haven't been paid. Again, it's all very complicated. You can read about it. I'll put some links in the, uh, in the video notes. And don't forget, tomorrow is the big Jimmy Z show. It's going to be fun. First time in a long time. This weekend, the Jimmy Z show. And every day, Monday through Friday, the Jimmy Z daily commentary. I'm Jimmy Z from the left coast. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye-bye for now. The Jimmy Z show.